to revisit a little bit if you have to go back a little bit because we didn't have a chance to conclude. It will be concluded in words in the reading, but we have to conclude in Babish and Hill bring us into it. I want to start again from the line of the Yinz Beho Yilomis, which is on page Kuf Mun Dalet, and it's uh, seven lines from the bottom, Yilomis. <coughs> this Yilomis belongs to a sentence that says that the Rotten and the idea for the world actually preceded the whole material of the world. What the Pesach says, Magid Mereshes Acharis, he tells Mereshes from the beginning, Acharis, the end, and from prior to, prior to everything, Acharinasa, that, that, that which has never happened. So therefore there is this idea for the world and all the ramifications of that way before it even it, 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 it even came to, to fruition. Bahare, however, this is what would better be swimming from you. I'd like to understand the, the, the point here. Bahare, but behold, when is Havo Bepoya Midiazu. They did not get created Bepoya, in factually, Midiazu from this knowledge. This is another thing. The Rebbe knows it. How come it didn't come to, to fruition? To acceleration from his knowledge. Because we said the idea of this actually is what creates the world. And yet it, it did not come be paled from this idea. Shezehu, and this was represents Shezehu, where this phenomenon that there is the full idea, and yet the, the, the creation had not come as a result. This is Gan came this too. Is representative Mikoya Hakoyim Yoch. This also is Mikoya Hakoyim Yoch. This is due to the Koya Hakoyim Yoch of the all capable Koya, the divine Koya. That's a, that's a, that's really a shocking thing. He didn't get created, and that and that he didn't create that itself. He's representing representing a Koya Hakoyim Yoch, all capable. What is that? The Rebbe explains. The Kishem, which means that just as, that his Koyach, which is the Koyach HaKoyach, the all capable Koyach, who <coughs> it represents, it contains in this Koyach, that there should be a his Habos <coughs> coming forth and a presence, just from his knowledge. That, that from his knowledge should come a real presence clearly that represents a koya hakoyoch. A koya that is all capable. He does not need to focus on every situation individually. He has his knowledge and that knowledge materializes completely as to what it contains and it, uh, all the way down to where the knowledge is focused. That it should be a mitzvah. So that his hour should come in the Yosef, his body, just from his knowledge, that represents a koyach koyach. We don't need to elaborate on this. Because clearly, we are perplexed by the whole thing that, that, that something gets created. Particularly when say gets created from his knowledge. Clearly this is this is a super clear. Whatever he knows materializes because he knows it. This is a koyach a koyach, this is not only limitless koyach, it is a koyach that is able to <coughs> to to, to uh, traverse from one state to another state completely, from idea to, to Mitzvah.
And the Rebbe says, and here's a challenge to us, that the fact that Yes, it comes, it, it comes from Mitzvah because of his idea. But nonetheless, it does not come a, his Havos, or his Havos be poyo. Okay, the, the Ram begins how his Havos. Just as it is Koya Haikei Yoch, that is that brings about that they should be in his harvest of Hashem's knowledge. Kmoi came likewise. Koy Koya Koyoch, his particular koyak, which is a koyak that is described as Koyoch, who it represent said stands for Shahagam Shayoidea Kohai is Havos. This is the Koyah Koyoch states that even though he knows the entire presence, the Koma came still, Moiti and is there, his harvest be pale. From this knowledge should not come his harvest be pale. We did, we already had been exposed to the principle of his harvest be poem. How does poem mean he's in contrast his harvest be koyach? Even his harvest be koyach is also misat koyach koyach. And the Rebbe says the fact that it does not come further down the next step, his harvest be poem is due. To the fact, to the union that is a that this koyak is a koyin yoch. How is that follow? If it's a koyin ha koyin yoch, it should be able to go all the way to poil to the to the to the end of existence. And let me say, the very fact that it creates only be be koyak and not be poil, that is represented with the fact that this is a koyin ha koyin yoch. How is this? I want to introduce that to, to an undertake to explain this is also a koya koyo. And the Rebbe says behind, behind, okay, behind, and that is mipnei. Due to the fact, because of the fact, Shehaidiya he bepinas habdolah legamri. Now this idea that he knows the entire his havos, and we said that this knowledge is a factual knowledge, to the point that it that it creates the his havos bekoyach, and as we explained, this explained. Bikoyach does not mean Bikoyach in potential, but it means an actual other level of Koyach. It actually has an effect. Yet, it stops short of going the next step of creating his house Bikoyo. And we already discussed what is his house Bikoyo. And I want to, we have to, at this point, we have to really revisit it. His house Bikoyo means. Step back. His house bekoyach is a real his house, but it is bekoyach. Bekoyach means that it is still speaking about the basic, the source where it's coming from. And here we, I have to go and elaborate on this. A little. What is the difference between, in the human experience, between a person looking at something and a person picking something up? When you're looking at something, you also pick up, the, you see the whole thing in your sight. But this koyach of sight remains connected to the seer. Does not 
effect. It does not have presence independently of the seer. The seer is a whole mishonah, is a whole reality. Big deal, he sees. It's a lebedic mishonah. When you stretch your hand out and you pick up, oh wow, look at this. It's a completely different thing. You can make it do an action totally independent of your of your of your life force, of your mission. And you're affected by it in, in this world. That is a completely different different realm, a completely different dimension. Let's understand. This dimension that we can actually effectuate something completely independently, separate from us, says that our koyach is an is is koyach relative to human being. It's limitless. I can do something in such a manner that I affect the, the, the result of this action so that it stays totally in, independent of myself. From a conceptual perspective, if the curve would be limited, pardon me, let's think of that. From a conceptual, it's a, a, a concept. The human being picks up this cup and puts it here because he wants it here instead of here. If he wants to effectuate this difference, he should have to pick it up, put it down, and hold it there. <coughs> and yet, he is capable of putting it, putting it there and let it go and let it stand. In other words, he's able to make a full-fledged action totally independent of himself. You actually change the position from this cup completely. Now the, the cup independent of the person stands over there. That's a phenomenal accomplishment. You're a teacher. You teach children. As you long as you are learning with them, our base with them. Yeah, yeah. But then she kids it on his own and says, our base. Ah, oh, so look at this. That's a real accomplishment. How did you do that? Particularly afterwards, he follows through, and he himself becomes a teacher. Wow, how did I do that? When you take a yin and you tell him how to put on film, and he picks up, and the next day he puts on film without you, you're even plotting him to do it. That's a real accomplishment. <laughs> My accomplishment is greater than yourself. This is Bipoya. How is this that this is what the Rebbe says. How is this that the Rebbe, that the Rebbe that knows things and he creates things with Bipoya and he's short of short creating Bipoya. He should go right away to Bipoya. Let's go back to our silly marshal of, of the cup. I have to call it silly marshal. The fact that I can pick up the cup and move it over here and let go of it, let it stand there. It's no big deal that that, I can, that, that a cup can stand there. The big deal is that I can let go of the cup. I wanted the cup to be here, and I put it and I can let go. How do you let go? Maybe it will just float back here. I'm not really getting why this is a big deal. 
I, I thought he would. Please follow. I mean, Please follow. I get that it's kind of remarkable we can affect things outside of ourselves, but that's the nature of the world. No, 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 no. Because we have, we have a. It doesn't matter because why. The perception of fine. reality. But we're using okay, a worldly okay, mushroom. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try to explain it. The reason I'm trying to explain it is because surely you have it in your mind, but you you never identify with it because. Nebuch, you, you, you have a scientific approach to, a worldly approach to, to knowledge. But the worldly approach is false. The real world is the godly world. True or false? Lefi Torah, you lift something up, you put it down, this is a Kenyan. The Torah speaks, the Torah speaks of a divine world. Yes, and, and in okay, that setting... Second, before, before, the, the point is, we understand the question. But um, the, the labor is in understanding the, the answer. This is where we should labor. We don't have to elaborate on the question. It's obvious. Where is the, where is the, the how is it that we say, like I said exactly in this case, if I can pin it down and let go, which is, this represents a koyach much greater than the ability to move it from here to Right. Is, is this to illustrate the poil or, or kol yachol? What are we illustrating? Hmm. If you can effectuate the pale, that is due to a court that's kol yachol. If you can effectuate something. So you're listening up, you're allowing yourself to, to you're bring you your whole, your whole bottle of marbles here. <coughs> If you can effectuate something, and this effectuating, the reason you're moving the car here, the car here, is because in your sense, the car belongs here. Because of your sense, not because the car belongs here, not because the table needs it, not because of it. your sense is that the car belongs here. It is exclusively your sense. If this car belongs here, or exclusively by your sense, it is your definition of the place where they come. How is it? How is it that you can put it down and let go and let it stand on its own in the place that is you invented? It's not the place where they come at all. It is due to the fact that you, with your koyach of intuition, of, of, of intellect, and so forth, you can identify. A presence that is greater than that which you perceive in your own mind. You can identify a presence that is independent of yourself. To identify a koyach, a presence that's independent of yourself, and act at that level. This is a koyach I want to I want to ask a point blank question for everyone here. We can all speak and explain our thoughts. If we want to write down this thought, to write down the thought is an independent challenge. To put a thought down in paper is an independent challenge. To put a thought down in paper means to actualize this thought. This should become a, a thought that is real independently of the thinker. Do we all agree, Shlomeus, yeah. that to write down is much more difficult, much more challenging than to speak about it and to explain it? Sure. I need Shlomeus to agree. He's a, he's a challenger. Hello? Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. A big yes. A big yes? Yes. Well, clearly it's it's taken to another level of separation. Mm -hmm. it, it's a big yes. It's not mm -hmm. It's a big yes. That it's, that it's again, it's a what? It's, a diff it's more difficult than speaking it, yeah. It's extremely more difficult because you are, you're creating it as an independent presence of yourself. Okay. It's your thought. You create it as right, we, right. We had this yesterday to go from thought to speech to action or to go from thought to speech to writing these are 
very huge transitions. And it's quite remarkable we can accomplish that. They're within a getter of worldliness, but okay, let's let's just focus on the remarkable element, because like you said, you're operating in an area that's independent of you. I'm waiting for, for so, the punchline. Right, so all of this we... Okay, so all of this we got into... The other shooter. ...to illustrate... To illustrate sort of a kol yachol that Hashem doesn't I'm just. About yourself. I'm talking about on human level. I know, and I said yesterday, and it's still going to be. The, it still seems to be the topic that I have this issue, or we we have a big divide between thought and speech, but seemingly that's a human issue. And you said no, because the human being has it. So too, it's a divine issue, and this illustrates the kol yachol element that he doesn't go from thinking it to it actually being bepoil. And that shows in Kol Yachol. And I was like, well... What does Poyo mean? You, you fail, you, you, you don't to take it the next step. The Poyo means that you're effectuating it in a world that is not yours. It's not you. Right, you, you get, you're you given resources, so you're in a setting where you... It's not yours, but you act in that domain. Correct. We've, we've you're looked at ownership or movement or speech. Yeah. Totally independent of yes, you. Yes, How yes, yes. How do you do that? Okay, so it's it's quite it's quite strange, or it's remarkable. Not strange. That's a koyach, a koyl yoch. That's a divine gift of koyl yoch. Okay. Because we're defining koyl. You can act, make an action, and a and it's a full action, and become so this is severed from the actor. Right. Like I said logically, if okay. I couldn't come there, I should have to hold it there. Okay, but it, fine. This this step, my understanding of koyl yachol was like all able. He can. He can do something one and the second, opposite at the same one, time. One, For one, me one, to move something, I can't have it hover in space. I'm not a call yachol. No, you're not thinking. You're being a shaman. No, because no, you're... No, no, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why is this I'm not thinking. It just doesn't fit with the definition you I have. It absolutely does. Call mm -hmm. yachol means yes. that you can create a totally new independent presence. Right, which didn't seem to happen when I moved the cup. It was a new setup. It wasn't a new presence. I cannot have the cup hover in space. I cannot make the cup from nothing. That's all. <laughs> you piece to, yeah. It's a marshal. I know, and the marshal seems fairly not to illustrate the nimshal. That's the, what I'm pointing out. Perfectly illustrate the nimshal. I don't understand. Again, please follow. If you move the cup from here to here, it is not merely moving the cup from here to here. But it is. It's not a new bria. It's a new well, setup. Please listen. Okay, fine. Finish. Please listen carefully. The cup is standing here, it's perfectly purposeful here, and it's not bothering anybody. The only one it bother, it's bothering is you, because you perceive that the cup should be over here. Okay, let me let me just point point blank. Why is it not just a new se setting, a new orientation in an existing setup? That's all it appears to me. Why why am I wrong in thinking about that? You get you 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 you're poisoned within the, within the world of you. It's not. Please understand what I'm saying. Please listen. Just listen. Try to try make bring you yourself to say, yeah, there's something there. Let me tell. How come I don't understand? Why don't you bother yourself? How come I don't understand? Because I've been listening to this Marshall for two days, and I'm trying to really get to no, see. No, no, you're not. How... You're constantly resisting. Okay, fine, it. fine, fine, fine. You're resisting it. Okay, try, okay. try again. Try again. The cop is standing here. The cop is here now. This father the cup is here now. What is it represent? Just the father is cup is here, or because I moved it here? It originated over here. Now it's here. The fact that it's here is <coughs> representing just the fact that it's here, or that it was moved here. It was moved. I didn't ask you. I'm sorry, that's why you didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm asking the What does it mean when the copy was sending here? Now it's here. Father, it's here. It's, actually, it's here because it, it was capable to be here before also. Now it's, it's here. Or the fact that it was moved from here to here, it, it is here because it was moved here. What does it represent? What does it stand for? Let's take it uh, simpler. More obvious. Chairs are lined up around the table. No big deal. Chairs stand on their own. You put them down, they stand. But when you see chairs lined up on the table, what do you see? Chairs lined up around the table, the chairs standing. 
Hello? It's lined up. This, the chairs are lined up on the table. But you, and you don't only see that they're standing now. You see that they're lined up. And what is the liner? It's not there. They're lining up. And the, and, the, and the liner can stand away. And he is still a human human concept that, that lined them up. And the liner is not here. That is a that is a statement from Kol Yoch that is able to do something, effectuate that is a presenting of himself, of a human being, and he can stand away from it. If, if, if I'm, I, I'm trying to understand, because I think both of you are having a really also, okay, Go ahead. wonderful conversation. That's uh, I think for the rest of us, we're trying to just wrap our heads around. Um, but it it seems to me that this. <clears throat> Kol Yachol, right? It's it's almost going back to the Rambam's argument of prime mover. You know, it's moving the ability to cause anything, right? Um, and in so doing, we too have the ability to cause because we have ability given by Hashem. Um, and the the idea that it can be totally separate. From the mover, in other words, once it's moved, whatever it is, in other words, moved meaning, in this case, creating something from nothing and separating it from the creator, in, in, in this great Abdallah, right? That is part of the ability, right, of Kol Yahu. It's You know, the Kol Yahu runs through everything. It runs through all the ideas. It runs through everything. Um, and, 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 and it seems to me here that when, when we're talking about this, the Gefinas of Dalla Legamre, right? It's a total... No, no, you're going, you're going a step further. I'm going I only an explanation for it. But, but what, what my point being is that the, 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 the analogy of the cup, yeah. that once you moved it, Right? And it's totally separate, as you were saying, the miracle is that you don't have to continue, continuously hold the cup. You can remove your hand from the cup and have already changed it. No, I'm missing something. You're missing something. Okay. Let's go back to the chairs lined up. Right there. Okay. The cup standing here, once it's standing here, it's not representing the fact that you moved it here. This is where we blind. I'm trying that we should... Focus in and remember, no, no, the cup really belongs here, and now you could forget about that. Lined up, chairs are lined up around the table. Right. It's obvious that there was a liner who lined it up. Right, right. And now they're standing independent of the liner. Yeah. And they're still lined up. They're not just standing, they're lined up. Mm -hmm. This lined up is representing of the liner. This liner was able to to project himself in a manner that it becomes a project, a process, a present, independent of the of, the, of him. And that's called Yahoo. That's called Yahoo. He was able to like affect himself. I understand. It seems in, like into a, a world outside himself. So it's quite a low bar. Anybody doing anything but poil is is illustrating called Yahoo. Right. Okay. One second. It's a low bar. <laughs> The point is, this is the divine gift. This is where we got this ability. Because we are owners of the world. And we do conquer the world as we are going through it. This is a divine gift to us. The human being does have a divine presence in the world by divine decree. But this divine presence is clearly demonstrated in all that he does. When he does something and, the, and, it, and it detains the human imprint on it, and it stays like that. The world does not protest. 
hey, why are you trying to bring your spirit into me? I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm world. It's not you, my world. It is a muscle for the union. And particularly in, in, in the chains lined up, that, that kind of come vividly. Yeah. The chains lined up, and yeah, they're just standing on the table. But we all can able to perceive they're not just standing, they're lined up on the table. Lined up is a human, is a human process, a human presence. How can human, a human being affect something in the world? Leaving a human presence without him being there. That's because he was given a special prayer. It's, still, <clears throat> it's a difference between symbol in terms of language. It's the difference between language and sign. Sign says, stop, go. And it's rooted in, in, a, in a very finite reality. To, but language is not like putting a sign, a red or a green sign. Language grasps, grasps the whole, and it imposes, a, it imposes design on, on uh, the reality. OK. Anyway, so here, here's what I would say. This union that the Rebbe can effectuate, a creation, from his idea, and the creation becomes a, a real creation, and it stops short of being the poet. Being the poet means it should be an independent presence, even though the Rebbe is who put it down there. This is Mikoyach Yoch. 